what's good welcome back to my channel i am beverly fira and thank you and thank you and thank you for clicking on this video guys well today is it encouragement i don't know how to explain it you know what listen this walk is not easy but god is so good i think this is just gonna be an appreciation of who God is even though all my videos is an appreciation of who God is but to be honest um God gave me this um message and it encouraged me and it really just showed me like how much he loved me and how much I don't deserve it like okay for instance guys this week I was not in my word as much. I was not spending quality time with the Lord as much. And when I do that, I get frustrated with myself. And that's something that the Lord is teaching me. Um, you know, as we grow with God, God's going to continue to continue to teach us levels. I feel like as we grow deeper and deeper, the Lord needs us to get deeper and deeper with him. So there's levels to this. So I know the Lord wants me to press in more with him. And sometimes it's a bit hard. But this week, it was really hard. Like, I wasn't in my word. And I'm going to be real with you. Sometimes I'm not always in my word. Sometimes I'm not always worshiping like I'm supposed to. And it frustrates me and I'm getting better at it. And that's how I felt this week. I was like, Lord, I haven't been in my word. I haven't been worshiping. But the lord still gave me an encouragement literally he said i'm meeting you where you're at and it's okay and i said what the lord told me i'm meeting you where you're at and it's okay and i don't know those words really just showed me wow god you're truly amazing because to be honest guys Sometimes, because I am not as disciplined as I want to be with the Lord, it really frustrates me. And sometimes I'll be like, Lord, like, I don't even deserve it. Like, I don't even deserve listening to you. I don't even deserve you using me the way you use me. Like, I be feeling like I do not deserve it. And still in the midst of everything, the Lord still speaks to me and tells me, I'm meeting you where you're at and it's okay. Bruh, like what a good God that I serve. Like, it's like, wow, I serve such a good God. And even though I haven't been in my word like that and... Even though I haven't been pressing into his spirit like that this week, God is still speaking to me. And sometimes I feel like I don't deserve it, man, because God is really so good. And that's why I beat myself up when I'm not in my word, because God is good. And I want to be at his feet. I want to listen to him. I want to be more disciplined. But I got to be real. Sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes you're not going to want to pick up your Bible. Sometimes you're not going to want to worship. Sometimes you're going to get distracted within things, whether it's things around you, whether it's emotional things, whether it's issue, whether it's life. And I am I'm I'm. I'm I want to learn how to still go through everything, but still be rooted with the Lord. But the fact that God just spoke to me, God said, I'm meeting you where you're at and it's okay. Oh, like, I just want to sob like, God, like you are so worthy. And I don't even, I don't even understand. Like, I don't even deserve this love, but you love me. And even as the Lord literally spoke these words to me this week, and I've been really thinking about these words, um, not only did these words hit me, but then it continued to flourish my mind to think like, wow, just as God is so sensitive to me, why, this is why I should be sensitive to people. This is why I should give people grace. This is why I should meet certain people where they're at. And it's okay. Um, it just shows me the love of God. And because he loved me like this, it helps sovereign my heart to continue to love 
people like this. Like, I want to give you a story because I got plenty of them. Because this right here just reminds me of just grace. God is gracing me. He's continuing to give me grace. Now, don't get it twisted. I still have to do my part to be at a posture. And because the Lord sees my heart and he sees my posture, he's flooding in and he's reminding me. But also in the midst of it, he is instructing me. And he gave me instruction this week. He said, maybe... I have to schedule time this week with him. He was telling me I got to schedule set times this week and stick to it so I can learn how to continue, learn how to build a routine and stuff like that. But the Lord is teaching me how to be, this is grace. And this just remind me, I remember around last year in the summertime, listen, the Lord, listen, I love people and I'm very patient. I'm a very patient person and I'm very patient with people, but listen, the Lord was teaching me patience at a whole nother level. And this just reminds me of grace. I remember a time like this last summer. It's two people in my life. Two specific people in my life. I love them. I really do. But they getting on my nerves. And they get me upset. Because you ever feel like, man, you just so kind to people and they continue to throw dirt in your face, but you continue to be kind and merciful and patient. But then at some point, you get, I, what's the word I want to say? At some point, you get tired and you just want to ignore the person and you just want to block this person out your life forever that's how i felt about these two people but unfortunately i can't block them there's just certain people in life you can choose who you want to be in your life but there's other people where you really can't choose like they're in your life and you just have to flow and deal with it but i remember these two specific people i think their birthday was coming up one birthday and one another occasion was coming up and i told god this i said lord i'm not gonna give them nothing i said they don't deserve it i said lord they don't deserve it they be throwing they be throwing dirt in my face over and over and over again and god all i am doing is showing kindness and i'm tired i said i will not give them anything and i'm never gonna forget this god said to me god said how dare you say that they don't deserve when every day you sin every day sometimes you're disobedient every day that you're not perfect but i always but i always love you and i always feel as if and i always love you and i know and feel that you deserve everything <gasps> oh my gosh i weeped and i cried and the Lord was telling me, just like as I give you grace, and just like as I meet you where you are, you need to give those people grace, and you need to meet them where they are. Bruh, if that's not God, I don't know who that is. If that's not the love of God, I do not know who that is. And of course, I act right accordingly, and I obeyed the Lord, and I loved on these people. Um, I treated these people. I gifted these people, and I was just being the, the bond servant of the Lord like the Lord wants me to be. But in that moment, like God was teaching me, you got to meet people where they're at because he meets us where we're at all the time. He gives us grace all the time. He gives us mercy all the time. He loves us unconditionally all the time. So it's just like, why can't we do the same? And that's why when the Lord said, I'm meeting you where you at, even though, you know, you distracted a little bit, you in and out, you doing, duh, 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 duh. I still love you. I'm still giving you grace and I'm meeting you where you're at. So this is just an encouragement for you guys to just love people. This is an encouragement to you guys to remind you that God gives us grace. God gives you grace every single day. Why can't we give people grace? Why can't we meet people where they're at? And listen, listen, I want to say the Lord specifically assign us to people per season. Listen, you got to be, you got to make sure that the Lord wants you to enter in these people's life. You got to make sure the Lord is sending you to these people. Like there's some people we got no business being around and the Lord has been telling us to detach. But there's other people that the Lord specifically has put in our season to test us, 
to uproot us and to change us. And we have to just show love, grace, kindness, and mercy just like God does. And I want to encourage you guys that God is meeting where you at. It's not easy. We're not perfect. We're never going to be perfect. But thank the Lord we serve such a God that loves us and a God that's going to meet me where that's going to meet us where we're at every single day. So show somebody else kindness today. Have grace for somebody today. Meet somebody where they're at today because God does that for you every single day. Guys, I love you so much. God is so good. And I praise the Lord. And I thank God so much. Because I don't deserve God's love. But he loves me anyways. And he loves you too. Like I said, he wants to speak encouragement over you. He wants to love on you. He wants to teach you. Like This is a continuational teaching moment. That God is continuing to teach me how to love his people. No matter what they do. No matter what their background. No matter what their experience. God is showing me how to grace people. So I want to encourage you to have grace for people. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Go for this week. Do something. Do something different. Have an act of kindness for somebody this week love on somebody this week differently give love to somebody this week be different with somebody this week yeah that's gonna be the challenge but guys i love you guys so much stay blessed stay encouraged and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye